Hello, hello, guys. Welcome back. Welcome back. Hey, hey, hey. And I already have. Hey, nice to see you here. I know, I know. I haven't seen you in a long time. All right. I already got some challenges. I'm going to accept the first one over here. So this is a 3 2. Perfect to warm up. Let me just make sure I have these sounds on. All right, let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. What is this, London system? Come on, come on. Hey, hey, hey. I'm doing great, how are you? How is school going? Hey, hey, hey. All right, this looks like a London system indeed. Nothing we're not, comp nothing we're not used to <coughs> or familiar with. Um, <laughs> yes, yes. All right, I think I think this might work. We've talked about this before, and that's a fork. I right, remember if you played the London Bishop G5 was enough to pin that knight, and there was no the fork was not possible. All right, now I really want to chop that off, and. Yeah, let's do it. Why not? I'm winning. Simplification makes perfect sense. Nice haircut. <laughs> How did I get that from Nightbot? Vasil in the house. What's going on? I hope things are better. I haven't been keeping up, but I hope things are better. Um, well... I thought, I thought they were going to take Vasil, Vasil, Vasil. Well, glad to see you here. Thanks for the, for the feedback. Just send me a challenge. Send me a challenge. My username, you can see it here. R-O-B-R-A-M. What do you mean? It works against anything. That's what we played right now. That's what we played right now. Okay, does this make any sense? Let me play 95. Instead of attacking the king, more than that, I want to simplify the game. Happy week. John, nice to, nice to see you here. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> long time, guys. Long time. Well, I've been posting back like we were doing it um, on Saturdays. Well, I'm doing Friday or Saturday, just doing a new lesson. Uh, streaming, oop, streaming, there are a few things going on. Um, for now, I'm going to do it at least once a week, and then we'll see how it goes. The chessable course is already done. A few other projects are already done, but still busy. And now it's the end of the year. The summer, I was more active, but now it's crazy busy. A lot of events going on. Good events, but still, they t require, they take time. Okay, can I just take? There's no silly discover or anything like that. Ah, nice. Are they gonna have a launch on Wednesday? Hey, it's not um, if it were because if it were up to me, we would have it, we would have it done already. But uh, I don't think it's gonna be like, hey, let's play. I don't think it's easy to to get that done. 
Cha cha. Okay, this might be tricky. This might be very very tricky. Cha cha cha. I think we have the increment, right? Let me confirm. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Objectively speaking, we're up. What are we up? Up a piece. Okay. I could always do this. But I don't have to. All right, all right, nice. I asked because we've been wanting to do that for a long time. We're like, but I think they don't let you know if there's a launch. Um, like, they don't let you know in advance. So, not so cool. Not so cool. Uh, Yeah, we're, we're pretty far. We're pretty far. We're pretty far too. All right. Uh, cha -cha 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 -cha. Do I need to do this? Let me do it. I'm still add material. Just I just need to keep it cool. Hey, I haven't. I I didn't see any more of your comments. And right now that I have twelve seconds, I'm gonna have to if I want to survive this. It shouldn't be difficult to convert. But it's me. I never miss an opportunity to miss an opportunity. So let's see. Ah, uh, don't tell me about it. But you know, that was mainly because I didn't know it was him. If I knew it was him, I would have made even sillier mistakes. Even sillier mistakes. All right, we need the rook gone. If the rook is gone, there's nothing to worry about. <laughs> now there's nothing to worry about guys I'm going like always I'm going in order all I'm trying to do all I was trying to do was rook d8 I want to simplify the game oh easily easily but you know it's me Okay, so we take. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get checkmated in this one. My opponent is getting long time as well. Simplification, let's do it. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Careful, they could block with the rook. Hmm. I know I didn't finish it the best way possible, I know, but it is what it is. All right, let me push. Come on, there has to be an easier way to do this. I don't think so. <laughs> Did I have queen b6? Probably. All right. Well played by my opponent. Oh, Pepper. Look at Pepper. Pepper, I think you're being challenged. <laughs> yes, send it, send it. Guys, anytime control you like. I'm going to be here for around 90 minutes. So anytime control you like. Send it my way. All right, well played by my opponent. I got my next one. Three, two. We got the black pieces again. And let's do it. Another long. Is it the same opponent? 
I guess the London system is that popular. Mm -mm. No, until November, until mid-November, my tutors are compromised. All right, how about... Mm -mm. Hey, it happens. Not often, but it happens. <laughs> All right, different story. Cha, 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 cha. We've done it, we've done it in the past, but it didn't end up well. Um, it didn't end up well, that's all. But we've done it, this, I think it's video like 130 something. But yeah, it's not happening ever again. Just, that's all I can say. Oop, let me see. <laughs> all right, little by little, in no time, you're gonna be, you're gonna be beating me. Now, let me see. Okay, my opponent castled opposite side. Um, Bishop e6 only makes sense. I'm not even going to try to go crazy about the queen side attack. I'm just going to go back. All right, let's do let's do it towards the end. If I forget, please remind me, but um, it shouldn't be that complicated. It shouldn't be. <laughs> you got it, you got it. All right, this should be winning the piece, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. I'm gonna pretend like I'm, I'm calculating. <laughs> Anytime I would just play four, but I'm thinking, is there anything better? Like maybe rook, if, rook d3 and then e4. Unnecessary, I know, but we have to consider it. Queen f7. Ah. Okay, there was a question I missed somewhere here. Let me see, let me see. All right, I'm just gonna take. And then this should do it. Sorry about that, guys. And we're back. Okay, I think I have to take back with the knight and just keep the pressure. Some, something has to be dropping. <laughs> okay, we move out the way. Sorry guys, technical difficulty, I think I take this. That was a frog. <laughs> my, my daughter was uh, had a frog and they were freaking out over it. All right, let me get back in business.
All right, let me take this. All right, and oh, there has to be something fancy. Anything here? Oh, let's play like this. Mm, there has to be something fancy. All right, we got that one. Let me see. Free pawns, absolutely. I don't know, didn't see it, just heard uh, the screaming. <laughs> but everything is okay, everything is fine. Peppa, she doesn't want anything to do with you. That, that's what it is, that's what it is. All right guys, if there were any questions, I didn't see them, now we're back in business. Good game, by the way. Let me go to, let me show you here. Let me go to the next one, 1765. And I got the white pieces, first time. So let's play four. Anyone, anyone, send them my way. I'm waiting for you. All right, Caro can. What, were, what was I playing against the Caro can? Cha, 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 cha. Let me play my nice C3. I think she's too good. I think she's too good for you now. I, that's the impression that I'm getting. She's just too good. Um, <laughs> I didn't see it, I didn't see it. I went all the way up and I didn't see it. No, you know, I put less than 79 and 80, they're about that. And um, after that, I've posted games that I've played. There's like a little playlist on the YouTube channel where everything related to it, I, I put it there. I haven't done anything more because that's all I have ever known. I just know those ideas, those plans, and that's it. Plus, everything that I know about the peers, King's Indian defense, that I could use ideas from there as well. But no, I don't have a full course on it. Okay. Cha, cha, cha. Why am I thinking here? 94 seems very natural, but if they play a 5. Well, let's find out. Absolutely. Last week we played it successfully. Yeah, that's the thing. You have to, and that's why I like to do it like this. Just learn the plans. You're going to be off on your own. Like you could find the best opening out there. It, if it's that good, if it's, uh, if it's not a system, it's going to be so tough to memorize. And then you're going to be very excited about it. You probably gonna you might even get to the point where you memorize everything, but then you forget because you don't get all of those lines played consistently. So if you don't really understand it, if you don't really understand the plans, it's pointless. So with the King's Indian attack, start playing it with that, the plans that we covered already. And if you want to expand after, well, you do it, but at least you have that base with the, the plans. I thought you were playing, no, you were not playing the dragon, you're right. You're right. You are right. Okay, let me play d3. And then knight goes to e2. I'm trying to keep it in the Vienna elements. Let's see. Oh, oh, oh this is getting serious then. <laughs> oh, oh, my mouse is not working. Well, best tip you can I can give you is be aware of it. Just be aware of it. We all go through those phases. I mean, not crying. Come on, man. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, it happens. Just be aware of it, and just you know what happens now. If you let that affect you, it's gonna it's gonna destroy the whole tournament for you. So you have to learn to leave those losses behind and keep on going. Keep on going. But I, I will go through that. I had a very friend of mine, very good chess player. But he had that problem. If you'd start the tournament winning, he would just do great. 
But if you lose or make a silly mistake, uh, like drawing a, a winning game early in the tournament, it would really affect him for the remaining of the tournament. So you have to really work on that. Um, and the most important thing is for you to see the tournaments as tick, tick, tick. You have to see the tournaments as part of your training. You go there to, to learn, play those games, review them. That's what you really get from them. If you win or lose, if you win, great. But at least ultimately you're going there to gain more experience and learn from your, your games. And more than that, it's just a game, guys. This is just a game. Hmm. All right, we got to take. There you go. Didn't know that. I just didn't know that. All right. Is there anything here? Let me play H3. My opponent still needs to castle. I gotta do something. I feel a little bit uh, uncomfortable. So maybe get my knight to e4. <laughs> it's just a it's just a game. <laughs> now that's another thing we've talked about. Um, try to just get to play, um, come to play your games with a number in mind. Five, ten games. Once you're done, you're done. That's it. If you lost them all, fine. Go review them, and then only then you play again. No idea, no idea, no idea. All right, it seems like we got to improve our, improve our pieces. Whenever we don't know what to do, we think, what would be my ideal position? Where do I want my pieces to be at? So I wanted the knight on e4. I want this bishop. I still don't know what I want to do with the bishop, so I, I have delayed that. What is that about? Okay, finally my bishop is developed. doesn't make any sense. Let's give him, let's give him the pawn. Now, doubled, isolated, isolated, isolated. They cannot last. Hmm. Okay, active king. Okay, better pawn structure. It has to help. Hmm. Cha 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 cha.
Oof, we got that one. We got that one. Very, very interesting game. Very, very interesting game. Now, the end game, I hesitated there. <laughs> I almost kept the bishops because I had to calculate if they had the time, if you'll get there before me. I don't think so. I don't think so. And I think g5 is already winning. Yeah, I'm going to go. If you take, then I go. I just promote first. But I had to calculate that right away. I think so. I saw him posting. I saw him posting last week and the week before, something like that. Thank you, thank you. No, I didn't. I didn't. It's just uh, like I. I think I told you before. I was really busy, and uh, besides, besides, anything you do in life, guys, sometimes it's good to take a break. Just take a break. Sometimes you're just too, too focused, and it. It's, it's, uh, it's difficult, but you got to find that balance when to just step back and take a break. Uh, and that was the case. That was the case for me. Mm. All right, all right, all right. Okay, I don't think I'm missing anything. Let me go to the next one. All right, is this Bobby Fisher? I think I'm playing Bobby Fisher. And I got the white pieces. I just played E4. Let me go D4, see how that goes. All right, Pierce defense, we're playing as the white pieces. Let me just play H3. Hello, hello. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the best thing you could do, not only with the Karo can, any opening that you're learning, uh, you have to review master games. That's how you're going to see the plans that they typically use, how they go from opening to middle game, from middle game to end game. And... Uh, but the most important thing is you may be, you're maybe losing because your middle game in general is just weak. So maybe what you have to do is study the middle game. Just start doing it. Um, we have a very good playlist on YouTube about the middle game, more than I have ever known. And uh, there are many resources out there for you to improve your middle game. But uh, yes, at some point I want to review the Karo Can, even the Scandinavian. I've had it there for a long time. But uh, instead of waiting for me to do it, just get on it. Review Master Games. There has to be a very good book out there on the Karo Can. And the more time you put into it, the more you expose yourself to it, the better. But I'm, if I have to guess, and I don't know you, but if I have to guess, I would say it's just your middle game in general. It's not what it needs to be. So train consistently. Also, your end game is going to help you with your middle game, believe it or not. So put in the time. Put in the time. If you sent me the challenge, absolutely. Okay, let me do that then. Done. All right. Oh, Peppa keeps ignoring you. She's still doing it. Okay, if I do this, cha cha cha. No, no, no. It depends where you are. If you are already experienced, you're playing um, tournament games and so on, really spend some time to go over it on your own, make notes, only then review it with the engine, with computer, uh, with a coach or with a friend. But if you're just playing online <laughs> casually, not much. Um, all, I would, all I would like you to do is go over the game, um, and pay attention to the evaluation. Whenever there's a drastic change in the evaluation, then go deep and see what changed. 
But uh, other than that, don't, it's not practical. Now, any time control you send. Don't send it too long, but 5-5 five, five is okay too. It's my turn. What am I doing? What am I doing? Mm -mm -mm. Okay, let me play a5. Thematic move in these positions, fixing the queen side. Absolutely, absolutely. Look, it's very simple. Um, for me, it was a little bit different, but uh, what everyone does is someone or you simply look for the different openings out there and review a few games, not a lot, but just a few games for each opening, and then you see which one you like the most, which one you connect with, and then you try it. If you don't like it, put it aside, pick another one, and then do the same thing until you find the one that you really enjoy. For me, I was just told, look, there are these three, four openings, but uh, my coach already had one in mind that he wanted to teach me. And there were some things like the fianchetto that I always liked as a beginner. And he showed me this one that had the fianchetto. He knew I was going to pick that one. But uh, for most people, like what I do with my students, I just show them a few, three, four. And then they tell me, you know what, I like this one better. But no pressure. If they don't like it, even if they try it for a little bit, we can always um, change it until they, find, until they find the one that they like. Weird, I know, weird, weird plan, but it's a plan. Mm -hmm. Oh, my mouse is acting up, it's acting up. Hmm. Oop, I cannot do that. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, guys, you gotta do both. Like one is against E4, the other one is against D4. So for me, it's been both always. Unless you're, you mean something else. All right, so simplification mainly because I'm so low on time, I need simplicity. I don't need complications. Let's get to that end game. The less pieces, less chances for the game to get complicated. Okay, now let's chop you off. Trying to get some time back. Made a mistake, huge mistake, but it worked out. Okay, we're winning this, right? We have to be winning this. Simple king and pawn end game. Mm. Did I mess it up? No, 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 I'm good. Okay. <laughs> I was like, what if they just go C3, but we just go, we just go around. All right, horrible technique, not horrible technique, but I didn't get anything out of the opening. I mean, he's playing the pure defense. <laughs> but um, yeah, we kept it cool in porn. 
uh, I, I used to not really care about this, but if I'm low on time, I'm really bad under time pressure, just simplify the game. Also, uh, depending who you're playing, like my opponent was say not to, not to sound arrogant, but be below 1700, uh, people are not experienced enough when it comes to any game. So if you really are putting your time into the end game, just take them to the end game, they're gonna make a mistake sooner or later. Not saying it's your case, but typically at this level, we're focusing so much on tactics and openings and no one really cares about endgame, so you have an edge. All right, let's do it. All right, review, let's take a quick look. Let's see how bad we did. I know in, I know in the endgame I made a huge mistake. He could have played Bishop F8 at some point. Okay, not that bad. 89 to 80% accuracy. Let me just, all right. Let's see what we messed up. So notice how we transitioned from d4, knight f3, king's Indian defense. The moment I played e4, it became the, the peer's defense. Classical variation. So I'm going fast over this part because um, it's just the opening. You have to be familiar with this. Now, knight b to d7, I would have played e5 right away. Just play e5. You know that we have to. We don't want to play e5 on move number one, but we want to do it at the right time, and we got to do it before they do it themselves. Now, it seems like I had a better move. Was it e5 myself? Yep, it was e5 myself. I was waiting for the right time to play g4, and now that I had it, I missed it. Yeah. So that's the main thing. Time it, because you don't want to uh, lose the chance to, to play e5 yourself. So I missed that opportunity. I mean, nothing, not a big deal, but it gets really dangerous for black with my bishop on that diagonal. Yep. A5, this move is thematic, nothing special. Queen B1, <laughs> I was not expecting this to be a good move. Rook D1, B4, 96, and then at this point, look, knight a4 was the whole point of playing before. I wanted to play knight a4 without the queen taking on a5. But then I just said, you know what? I'm so low on time, I want to, to simplify. So, rook d1. Here, yes. Um, I really didn't know if I should have traded my bishop for the knight. In my mind, I'm thinking my bishop is trapped down here, not doing much. Let's chop it off, and then I'm simplifying the game. Knight e3 h4 mainly i want to play g3 but i don't want to drop the pawn get out of here queen d3 again not the best move if i had more time yes put pressure on the pawn and so on but here i'm just thinking simplification and even at this point i knew i had <laughs> messed up because i think my my opponent have my opponent has bishop f8 next um yeah bishop f8 had to be better i don't think i'm losing but it was going to get uncomfortable. Oof, let's go. Bishop f8. Yeah, now everything collapses. Oh, look at this line. Instead of taking like I did automatically, look at your look at your options. a6 followed by knight c8. And then you just take and the pawn is gone. And not, not only taking on a7, knight c8 to take on b6 and the pawn is gone. Yeah, this is just a uh, winning king and pawn end game. Yeah, we're winning by 1.9. It's a protected pass pawn. Forget about that. Yeah, here I got a little bit concerned about c3, but I can always go around. And this is just winning by itself. All right, there you go, guys. Let me see if my mod sent me the challenge. We got it, 5-5. Five, five. It is, it is, it is. All right, let me see. I haven't played my mod in a long time. 1466? What happened to that rating? It used to be, I oh know that was only chess. Okay. I cannot uh, bother, you, bother you yet. You know, I, I gotta tell you, um, I don't think so, <laughs> not today. 
at, at least for me, everything that I need, I could do it with uh, chess.com, Leech Chess. I actually bought it recently because I was doing the, the chessable course and I needed to use chess base for some things. And as I was using it, I'm like, it does, I don't think it's that necessary. But you know, that's me. Maybe there are things I don't know about it. There are things that are more advanced and I don't use, maybe. Hmm, okay. <laughs> There's something here. Did something happen that I missed? I know I've been out for a, for a little bit, but... I have to. I owe, I owe you that one, Vasil. I have to. It's going to be a long one, but... Look, needless to say, I cannot <laughs> to, uh, tell you that in a few minutes, but if you go to, the, to my YouTube... And sorry to, re to refer you to the YouTube channel, but we have, a, I think, easily four or five lessons on that. So go to the playlist, there's one on middle game strategy and positional play. If you go over it, you're going to know that. We've talked about every pawn structure, not every, but a lot of the pawn structures, when to break, the typical plans, just put in the time, go in order, step by step. Just uh, send me a challenge. You can see my username. I'm playing on chess.com. You know, um, I can tell you from my experience, the only one that I have read and I think is a great one is the 100 Endgames You Should Know. And in the past, I haven't really recommended that book a lot because it starts assuming you know you have a good base already, a good foundation. But I think they, there's a new edition that already has a chapter teaching you those basic ones. So, so yeah, I think that one, but mainly because it's the one that I have had more exposure to. But I've heard great things about uh, the other one too. At some point, I was I was like, should I read the 100? And a friend of mine from Cuba, he's like, hey man, he's telling you those are 100 end games you have to know. So, and he was right. He's right. <laughs> All right. Um, cha cha cha. What do you mean? Um, or should I change and use the dragon as a surprise? Sicilian dragon or dragon? So isn't it the same thing? My, or maybe you meant to say something else. No, that's that's the worst. That's the, the, the worst advice I've ever heard. I mean, I know you're not giving it as an advice, but no. Most people up to, I want to say, 22, 2300, they know one opening for white, one for black. Maybe a second one to vary things, to change things up, or to surprise an opponent. But no, you typically pick one or two, you become an expert at it, you try to at least, and that's it. Eventually, yes, you get exposure to other openings, but, but no. What I think you should do is, like I, in my case, I've always played these hypermodern openings, and it's great because it's easy to learn, to implement. But the concept, one of the main problems with it is that you limit yourself. So you don't know anything else. So for me, I had to review lots of master games with every other opening. Sicilian, Rui Lopez, Queen's Gambit. And even though I've never played them as my main openings, I know the ideas. And sometimes I use those ideas in my openings. So yeah, I don't think you have to, but the more exposure you get by reviewing games, the better. All right, this I have to play. If this is the right move or not, I don't know, but I'm going to play B3. It feels nice. And by the way, you said at that question that I, you said dragon or dragon, I, I don't know what you meant, but at the 2000 level, it's not that big a deal. Just pick something you like. Every opening is playable because you're not looking for that little edge. At the lead level, they're looking for that edge like 0 0.2, 0 0.3, they're trying to convert that. For us, it doesn't make that big a difference, so don't worry too much about it. I'm not, I'm not that young. <laughs> I'm not that young. Uh, 
Okay, so that needed to be played. It needed to be played. No, 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 no. Um, Cuba. From Cuba. In the description, I left links. This is how you improve. Stick to that. Lesson 101. I th no, not 101. 102. Stick to that for a long period of time. And that's it. All right. So now... We take and then night goes to a very nice square. So night was ugly at the at the edge, but it was only momentary. Back at the edge, I know, but this time we had a pawn. <laughs> we had a pawn. All right, um, f5 is interesting. Mm, not so much. Cha cha. Just trying to get my knight to g6 and f4. So I needed to play g5. A little bit concerned about this bishop. Really don't like it. Also concerned about this knight jumping to f5 when I go to g6. So I think I have to solve that problem by playing e6. Eh, f4 is coming. Cha cha. Uh -huh. Okay, I don't, I'm not that active on Lee Chess, but it's the same one you see here. R-O-B-R-A-M. <laughs> no, like lately, like what I, the only thing I do lately is a private lesson one-on-one, -on -one, but I'm doing less and less, less and less every day. Okay, so that needed to be played. Mm -hmm. I need to play five. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now I'm not concerned about this bishop. This was the most annoying piece for me. It's blocked. I just need to coordinate my pieces now. That's the main problem I have. My pieces are not working as a team. What do you mean, what do you think? There's only one thing. There's only one thing you could think. Um, great player, great. I think, I don't, you know, I don't know him personally, but I think he's a good guy. But uh, chess-wise, he's great. There's no questions asked. So anything you could learn from him. Pam, pam, pam. F5 has to be a good move. I don't know if I can prove it, but it has to be a good move. All right, let's do it. And now you're not going to believe it, but I think I'm going to castle. Do I want to No, 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 I don't want to castle. Okay, <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to castle. <laughs> I was not going to castle anyways because I'll be landing on the G file. No, um, if on the YouTube channel, if you go to about, the about section, you're going to see my email. That's the way it works. Just send an email. Or actually, if you go to the website, also there's an, in the about section, you're going to see the link to the website. There's a section to request uh, or something like that okay so that's a good question the main question to ask before you do that is which of my pieces can I improve or which of my pieces do I want to be coordinated and so on and then you think of the ideal position in this case I'm thinking I would love my knight to be on c5 I would love this knight to be on a 4 
and I want my rooks, this one is slave to a7, but I would like this rook to be, what do I want this rook? If it could, if it would be floating in the air and I could place it anywhere, well, seventh rank, but together, <laughs> maybe c or b. So now, how do I get this knight to c5? I need to go d7, c5, easy. g6, f4. The problem is this knight is hitting me. Ah, I see, rook f8, knight g6, knight f4. One of the plans. Knight d7, knight c5. Or I could play king, king f6. If knight c4, I'm gonna take you. Okay, this one is more sound, I believe. How about any rook a6? Hmm. So that's how you do it. Hey, what about this? <laughs> oh, but bishop c6, okay. Uh, rook f8 or king f8. So that gives me candidate moves. So now I have to do this or this to protect the pawn. That way the knight can reroute. And again, this is my logic, but it doesn't mean it's the way to go, right? But if at least we have a plan. Cha, cha, cha. I don't, I don't know. I feel like my king belongs here. My rook is doing nothing. This is improving it. So let's do that. Bring it on, bring it on. Ah, I knew that was coming. And still I missed it. Oof, nice see it had to be played. It had to be played. All right, so now we put all of our time and effort on improving our pieces quickly. F4, knight moves. Mm -mm -mm. It is what it is. Uh, it's gonna be ugly. It's gonna be ugly. We had a plan, but no one said it was gonna work. So F4. Yes, I'm gonna give the rook. And if you think about it, my rooks are not doing much compared to my knights. So let's hope my knight could compensate. No, no, forget about the rook. See, my opponent doesn't care for now. We forget about the rook. All right. I'm gonna go as far as to claim I have compensation for it, but if I maintain the board closed with no open files, I think I'm gonna be okay. <laughs> this is coming. It's gonna get ugly, but I think we got something here. <laughs> okay, that knight is lost. Yeah, if I had taken at some point there, rug rugby six was gonna be happening. Okay, now I got two knights for the rook. Do I? Maybe not. Hmm. Cha cha cha. Probably, probably we have missed many things here. For all I know, I'm gonna keep this here. Mm, night, night, night. Cha cha. Mm. 
Mm. Okay, now we are safe. This is just too much. Oh. Yeah. She had me. I know she had me at some point there. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Yep, yep, yep. I don't know, guys. I'm just... A lot of challenges are coming in. Yep, close game. That was a very good game. Very good game. Like always. Every time I play her, she gives me a hard time. It's like she has... She got my number. <laughs> All right, let me close this one. And... My pleasure, my pleasure. Thanks for the feedback. <laughs> Peppa, Peppa, Peppa. All right, we have played already a few times. I recognize you. What is this? What is this? <laughs> All right, this is looking like a double fianchetto. I wonder if I want to play a5. I don't think that's the move, but... Proud of? Uh, you know, the first one that comes to mind and is mainly because I get... Almost every day I get a comment um, saying how much it opened their eyes is 52. I get a lot of comments like, oh, I'm looking, I'm looking at chess different now. Or like, I had never played like this, or I'm using this now and my, change is my game is changing. So definitely 52. And oof, if I have to throw in, you know, there are so many, but the main ones that I like are the ones about um, strategy and positional chess. But you know, 69 and, 69 and 85, I have to mention them. C6, yeah. There's also um, lesson 29, I think is one of the most important ones. Dun, 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 dun. Let me play Queen B6. Mm, yep, lesson 52. <laughs> well, uh, maybe it's time for you to try one of the Sicilians. The Scandinavian, it doesn't have a great reputation, but I like it a lot. And it's very different to what you get in the Owen. So, yeah, I had a feeling that was going to be played. It means non-master. Non-master. All right, so castling. Castling makes sense, actually. Yeah, exactly. It depends on the country. <laughs> some countries is never mind. Some countries is non master. Uh, chop, chop, chop. Careful with this. I know, I know. Nice to see you here. <laughs> oh, good master. All right. A little bit ugly, but this knight is ugly as well. Yes, absolutely. Mm 
Okay, let's make a <laughs> let's make a tough call here. D4 has this thing to it. This bishop becomes very good. I mean, anyways, it's gonna happen. I don't know. D4. I was gonna play D4. All right. How long it took me? So I put my. Mm, I got to the chess academy for the first time um, when I was 12. I was there for like a year, then I went to a school that is more like, a, I wanna say intense. So three years total, then I left Cuba and I didn't play for like four years. When I played again, like in a, maybe three, four tournaments that I played in a few months and I got the national master. But I think it's because I had the strength already from those three years. So I always want to say three years because that's I didn't do anything else for it to improve myself after that. I just played a few tournaments and it happened. <clears throat> okay, so should I take? No, 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 I don't want to take. I want to go knight d5 and then knight b4. Okay, actually bishop d5 was probably better. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Hey, I have 20 seconds. I just realized. Oh, we have the increment. No, I know who he is. And I know he's great, but I haven't. I haven't. Hmm. Okay, my knight got where I wanted him to get. I wanted him to get to before. I don't know what I want to do from before, but it looks cool. And now let's try to improve the position. Bishop seems to be better than that knight. I'm not gonna trade it. We keep that bishop. That was a fancy move. Okay. So maybe we kick you out next. Or maybe we don't. Maybe we don't. Uh, okay, fine. Got ten seconds. Mm -hmm -hmm. Someone is going to drop something. I hope it's not me, but someone is going to drop something. I dropped something. <laughs> I did drop something. I just need to hold. Someone is going to drop something big, and I hope it's not me. Hold. Hold. Okay. Hold. Hold. played I dropped that one I dropped that one very nicely played very nicely played I told you someone was gonna drop something big <laughs> and it was actually me well very well played I think uh, that bishop h3 was very 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 annoying yeah very nice now it looks like 
So roughly equal up to this point. E5, at some point I messed up big. What was that? Yeah, <laughs> I, should, I should have taken that knight. And I, I thought about it for a little bit. I'm thinking, they're going to d6. I gotta do something about it. And I should just have taken. Take on c4. Yeah, here's, I start to let go. So the first pawn dropped. Knight a2. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He grabbed and he didn't let go. Perfect. Well played, well played. That's it. And then the pass pawn decided the game. Nice, 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 nice. All right, no questions, no questions. All right, guys, I'm going to my next uh, opponent. I'm going down this list, and here I have 3 2. All right, Sicilian, someone asked about the Sicilian. Let's do it. I think I've just taken. A D3. Hmm, I don't know that the name that name uh, sounds familiar, but not really. Uh, what if I just go nice to six? Yeah, let me do this. Good game. That was a great game, actually. Mm -mm 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 -mm. <laughs> that it didn't help. Hello, hello. All right. So this is looking more like a Maroxy bind all of a sudden. Mm, they don't want me to do this. That's okay. Lockdown. That's uh, many years ago. <laughs> Long gun. Hey, don't tell me what to do. Don't tell me what to do. Um, not all the time, actually. Like, you want to, especially if they push this pawn, there's, there's only five directly. But you're right. You're right. I'm not going to argue with you. You know more of the Sicilian than I do. So I'm going to keep it to myself. Now, the question is, when do I... If ever, when do I play bishop e6? Mm. The one thing I know about the, the bind or that I want to make work is I want to work on the dark squares. If I want to put, if I could put my knight on c5 or if they take, take, d4 could be very nice. Maybe find a way to get the knight to d4. Oh, I got that. This could be in the air. Let's not forget. Yeah, that's what I wanted. I want my knight to get to here. Now, if I take, check, cha cha. No, okay. <laughs> so my opponent is saying, no outpost. Not today. Okay, taking with the you or taking with you? Let's take with you. Oh, it's gone. Vaseo is gone. It's gone. Not much we could do now. It depends, it depends. Typically the five pawns should be better, but it depends how advanced they are, if they're connected, if they're not. It depends. <clears throat> yes, yes, let's see. <clears throat> let's see if we can reroute it. Let's see. You know, I think uh, 
experience de definitely um, knowledge and it's not only about international master versus grandmaster but even among grandmasters like it's not the same 2500 grandmaster to 2600 grandmaster to 2700 to 2800 it's not the, the same now i'm not qualified to tell you <laughs> um the difference or anything like that but what i've heard from other from grandmasters is that hmm, let me see before i tell you anything cha 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 okay we take is that for example the difference between a 2700 and a 2600 um what i've heard from several people is that the main difference is imagination that's that's what i've heard creativity imagination so yeah it's there's a difference now i think i am versus gm i think is that knowledge experience but with that said there are many ims who are just as strong they just haven't made that whatever requirement they're missing for the for the gm so keep that in mind all right we just need to play bishop e6 improve your pieces Nothing more. I have, I have drawn, but you know, it's maybe they were, I don't know, they were having a bad day or something like that, but it's not the norm. It, it, it's rare. It's actually rare. No, 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 no. Never been, not even the National Master. I was never like, oh, I'm going to become it. I just played a few tournaments and it happened. Ooh, cha, 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 cha. Hey, you have to, you have to, you have to. Who doesn't? But still, who doesn't? Hmm. Uh oh. On the rook, on the rook. Sense, man. Well played, well played, well played. Oh, but I had, I think I had queen d5. I had queen d5. I had queen d5. Of course, not easy to see, but I had queen d5. And of course, if they take, that was a nice move to find. All right, well played, well played. You guys are not giving me a break anymore. Let me see if I can get a few more games. Actually, we have time for more games, definitely. Let me see if I can take it out of my next, uh, my next opponent. Mm -hmm. yeah, white pieces, let's play four. All right, let's play the Vienna with the Fianchetto, keeping it simple. Two 
too late. Too late. Besides, who plays that? Actually, it's a complete repertoire. So basically what we did is do like a combo of the Pierce defense and the King's Indian defense. Um, and with that, you should have enough to play against anything. You could even play it as white, as you know. And uh, yeah, very excited because I, I picked lines that I never um, shown before, not on YouTube or anywhere else. Like for example, the, the Austrian this time we're talking about castling instead of c5 like the main nine and I have, we have never talked about that before and you know the whole repertoire is easy to remember it's like almost the same thing with the same thing as you already know it could be a little bit uh, tedious but uh, very easy to remember and if you stick to it that's enough and that's more than i ever knew when i was getting started so very excited to see when it comes out uh, what you guys think all right bishop d2 X65, I probably have playing Blades Online, but I don't think it's that, I don't think it's dangerous. So now I get destroyed next time I play it, but it shouldn't be that big a deal. All right, King H2, in case they want to play Queen D7. You gotta play over the board. When are you gonna play over the board? I think they call it soccer here in the in the US. And you know, I I like almost every sport, but I like to play them. I don't like to watch. I I just cannot sit down to watch sports. I just can't. <laughs> All right, takes, 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 takes. All right, let's do it like this. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me play b3. I didn't know, but I know Jasser, a uh, great player, and I know he uses, he's played the Pierce defense a lot and the Dragon as well. So, didn't know he invented or he, he popularized it, but. Uh, I'm glad to hear because great, he's great, he's great. All right, so I did this intending to let go of my rook for the bishop. Now <laughs> I'm having uh, second thoughts, but now nah, let's go for it. All right, time flies, time flies. Hmm. All right, let's play some chess then. Pa, pa, pa. Yeah, but now we have to prove it. Now we have to prove it. Well, you see it, you're gonna see it here. I cannot say this is the case, but it'll be something like this. I'm down on material. I just dropped my rook for the bishop, but we have compensation because you see that bishop was defending the king side. So now the dark squares are weak and uh, we're basically trying to put pressure on them. So I might have compensation because of those weaknesses around the king. Sometimes you drop a pawn or even an exchange, but you have activity, so that's gonna compensate for it. Now, long way to go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
I wonder. I wonder if this is the way to go. Nice, that's a nice milestone. 1500 is a nice one. So congrats, you're definitely doing, doing something right. Just keep it, keep doing it consistently. And I guess, uh, oh, 1850. 1850, that's a, that's a strong one. <laughs> that's a very strong one, nice. <laughs> All right. Cha, 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 cha. Nicolas, let's do it. <laughs> ah, I dropped the pawn. We dropped the pawn, dear friends. Still, I like my position. The pair of bishops is very powerful, but. But, 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 but. trade I don't All right, we want that one on time. Let me see what the eval is for this one. Yeah, slowly, look, even though we were down, no, we're not down. <laughs> so yeah, still sli slightly better for black. Let me see if the sacrifice of the exchange made sense or not. Let me see. E4. So roughly equal, you see, D takes E4 made sense. Rook C1 was okay. No need to get fancy. But D takes E4 keeps it. And then D4, yeah, roughly equal. So even though we're done an exchange, we have compensation for it. A lot of chess to be played, as you could see, but not bad, not bad. Um, no, I think you have to ask for permission, like, like, if you're like a American, right? Like for me, I'm a US citizen, but I'm from Cuba, so I can go and so on. Or if you're, or if you're originally from another country. But I think they have to ask for permission and, and so on. All right, next one. Good, but so complicated. And you have to know so much theory that at least I'm not willing to put in the time. <laughs> so you want to play... Oh, you want to send the game. You have the game or you want to play... You want to play it. You already have it. You played it already. You want to analyze it. <laughs> Mm 
So I send it, it goes, we're almost done, almost done. Depends how long it takes. It's just that I have a lesson coming up. Uh, B5, yeah. All right, you know, I'm not so sure if my opponent is going to go with the queen side castling and so on. I think since I delayed king side castling, they're, they're not so sure. They could always go queen d2 and then bishop d3 and castle king side. But uh, just in case, I'm improving my pieces without compromising just yet. No, you know that for as long as you have it. If your compensation is active pieces, well, as long as you, your pieces are more active than your opponents, you're gonna have that compensation. If that's gone, then you have no compensation, you're in trouble. take it. I think that's a free pawn. <laughs> My rating go down a lot. I think uh, I lost the game against someone lower rated, so I probably lost like 14 points there. But no worries, we'll get it back. <laughs> All right, let me, I don't think we're gonna get it back if we guys checkmate it like this. So cha cha cha, knight d5. Now nah, let me go, bishop e6. Against the Dutch, I think the main line is cool. There, these plans with uh, you know d4 c4, you do the fianchetto, and white always gets good possession. Like the Dutch doesn't have a good rep uh, rep reputation. And I think the main line should do it. There are other interesting lines with uh, bishop g5. There's some bishop f4. There are some gambits as well that you could play it with e4. But I think if you've just played the, the main line, you'll be fine. It doesn't get that crazy. It gets a little bit dynamic, but it, I don't think it's that, that big a deal. Hmm. A few things in mind. I'm going to start with this one. Could be tricky, but I like that my rook lands on this file. Ooh, come on, you gotta, if you have, that means you haven't been, um, you haven't reviewed lesson 74. Lesson 74. Oh yeah, absolutely. I almost play rook d8 instead of castling, but if I could get my king out of the center along the way, why not? Maybe, maybe. After November, uh, I'm going to have time to play title twosers again. So let's see who we, who we come across. Hmm. 
when you are when you are a complete beginner, freestyle. Just don't worry about openings. Just develop your minor pieces, control the center castle. But as you get stronger, you're gonna have to pick that opening. Pick that opening. All right. I think we should be fine. Yeah, you're gonna have to pick an opening and just uh, stick to it. Am I missing anything? No. All right. There's a pin piece. Add more pressure to it. You got it, you got it. It's in the description. I left you a link, guys. There's a video 102 where we talk about a training plan. You stick to it, regardless of your rating consistency. The YouTube channel is step by step for you to follow it. You do your tactics, you play your games, you follow that, you're going to be fine. Lots of people have done it, and if it works for them, it's going to work for you. Huh. <laughs> I put it in the comment. I mean, not in the comments, I put it in the description. Hey, I haven't seen the game that you were gonna send. All right, my opponent disconnected. Tokyo Airport, Tokyo Airport. All right, let me get that one. Let me get that done. Let me go here. Let me see if it lets me. Okay, load. Let me see there's an option here. Practice versus computer. All right, so this one should be pretty easy. Just put your bishops in the center first or control the center first. And then you put the bishops in there. Let me activate the king. Bishops controlling the center. Bishops to the center. That's it. And then just remember that you have like a little cone here. And then the bishop, the king is already trapped in there. The king is going to be trying to stay here. So my king needs to go around to push him back. You see now I go here. And the king has to go back a little bit more. So far it got... I think like 12 squares that it could go, oops, sorry, that it could go to. Then I'm going to start moving my bishops, put them next to each other again, and then that cone gets smaller. So instead of 12, I think they have only six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So we do the same thing. And then this is the tricky part. At the very end, the cone is even smaller, so only two squares. I just need to bring my king now all the way to the edge. That's it. And then from here, do the math. I want the king to hit the, the corner, so I need to play this move. And then if I do this, it's stalemate. So I need to go back, make sure that I get on this diagonal with a check. So you could put it anywhere here. I'm going to go all the way back. And then that's checkmate. So that one is two bishops checkmate. Now, if you have never seen this before, this is lesson, I want to say 40, maybe 42 or 43. Um, I play, I explained it step by step. Yeah, that one is pretty simple. I'm not getting the links, by the way. Not getting the links. No, tonight checkmate, I think you need a pawn there to make it work too. Okay, analysis. Oop, no. Remove. Um, oop, bishop and knight. And. All right, so this one, the same thing. I want to first centralize my king, knight, and bishop. Now, notice how the king is going to the opposite color of the bishop, so that's what they should do. 
and now mm, 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 mm. let me make sure i'm not messing this up let me just make sure i'm not messing this up mm, 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 mm. all right so this is interesting so the king is gonna try to get out let's see if we can control it i want my knight over here in the center so this is gonna be your study it's gonna be your starting position bishop and knight on the center squares just like the bishops and then the king helps now how much could it help check let's try to okay hopefully it goes to this well it's not gonna go there not by itself okay now i need my knight to help so let me go check Oop. that will be stalemates so far we have 14 moves i need 50. i cannot do it in in more than 50. okay so now we're gonna start sending it to the right corner we cannot checkmate that king if it's on the dark square so i need to send them to a light square corner how do you do it using the perfect position no the ideal position that's how i called it guys remind me if you know it lesson 40 what 44 43 if you want to see it more step by step, that's where you need to go. Now, this is the ideal position. And then just like you put here, this is the, the, the W, like night out, night in. Now, after that ideal position, I'm going to go night out, night in. I cannot do night in right now. So I bring the king over to help and then night in. King is going to try to leave. I'm going to bring the bishop to help. And let me just do a little tempo here. Then I cut him completely. I know this sounds very fancy, very complicated, but it's not. Just go over that lesson. Okay, king comes over. Now, ideal position is up position with the knight in front. My bishop goes over and then knight out. Now, this time the king didn't go here, so I don't need the king. So it's knight out, knight in. Check. Then check, king has to go back in here. And I repeat the ideal position one last time. From here, this is checkmating three, I think. One, two, and that's three. That's checkmate. All right, and that took us 34 moves. Not great, but good enough. All right, guys, I hope that helped. Um, no, it's not, it's not. Go over it. Lesson 40 something, 43, 44 on the YouTube channel. After you go over it, that's it. If it gets tricky for you, especially if you're not that advanced, your tactics are not advanced, your ability to calculate, well, review it now. Review it in a month or two, again and again, until you get the hang of it. But it's not that complex. You just don't want to be like me, that I learned it at some point, never practiced it, and when I got it in a real tournament game, I couldn't do it. Everyone was around my table expecting me to do it, and I couldn't do it. Very embarrassing. <laughs> um, let me see. You were saying this one, this one, this one, but I never showed up. Um, I'm going up to find, this is the right, you see, this is the right one, but there's no link. You got it, my friend, you got it. Thank you for being here, like always. No, I know, I know. That's why we don't teach it so early. That's why it's not a big deal, <laughs> but uh, it's good to know. And you know, it's not only that. There are skills that you reinforce, that you develop, that you train by doing this. So it's good to have it. It's good to know it. What I do with my students sometimes, I have them do the two bishop checkmate without blindfold, without the pieces of the board, see if they can keep track. It's simple enough, but still you have to keep track of the pieces. So this is an another way to make it fun and still remember the main ideas. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it here. Send me the link via email and next time we could do it, okay? I'm gonna save it and next time I just, uh, we just review it. Like always, thanks for being here and next lesson should be coming out on Friday or Saturday and I'll see you around.